Yes, ladies and gentlemen, so I am with Joshua Dunn, a.k.a. Mr. Cotini Corner, a.k.a. Mr. Sneaker Vault himself. And as you guys can see, this isn't the, the conventional interview space that we have. Yeah. But Doc, tell us, where, where are we right now? We are currently in my studio, man, so welcome to, Thank you. Welcome to the Sneaker Thank you for having yeah. me. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, man, so... Well, this is amazing. I don't like it. Yeah, man, it's, this it's, is... been, it's been a year and a bit in the making. I'm sorry, I'm saying not, not a year and a bit, yeah. two years in the making, you know? Yeah. That's amazing. I feel like this is like every sneakerhead's dream. Yeah, I did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To, to, to get to this level and then like... Yeah, no, definitely. And, and the weird thing is, I know you were talking off camera and I was saying like, you know, I'm getting used to like getting yeah, some yeah, shoes. Yeah. But you know, like I always look at my, my collection and I'm just like, yo, shit, dude, this is actually insane because a lot of people don't it actually is. have this collection, you know? It is which insane. Is, which is actually crazy, you know? So yeah, man, it's just hard work, bro. Bro, like how many, how many pairs of knees do you have? So, I sold a couple. Yeah. So I was sitting on like about like 180, then I sold, oh, I sold like 30 pairs, so I'm on 150, I think so I'm on how much, how much did you get for the 30 pairs? Huh? How much did you get for the 30 yeah, pairs? So this is those guys saying, huh? It wasn't any of my, it wasn't any of yeah. my, like, my high power shoes, those shoes that I had like from long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I made a nice. Uh, you made a nice couple of bucks. Yeah, you, know, you know, young things, young things. Yeah. This is this is amazing, dog. Yeah. Can I tell you guys something? Just as he wears these juicy <laughs> and Nike collabs to the gym, but they are performance shoes. To the gym, these are performance shoes. Guys, I'll never, dog. I get that. I get that. While I was telling him, I just said, listen, boy, you're getting too many kicks. Yeah. That's why you don't care anymore, yeah. dog. Tell me, like, your top five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna jump right into yeah, the top so five. Yeah, my top five varies all the time, bro. Like, yeah. So we got we got two of them, the uh -huh. the Brazilian dance and the seven hundreds. Yes, 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 yes. And then we got um, definitely you can pull out those Jordan threes, the He's on the pine greens over there. Those, those are really really Ooh. nice. Um, the detail, yeah, guys. Yeah, the suede is the, the, so this the material they have here. Is yeah, like, it's like a suede leather material. It's called New Buck. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. Feels very really tough as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good quality. And then I think this is where it gets tricky, man. Because I've given you three. Yeah. And now the other the other two vary, bro. Like I'm so like it's either you got it easy in the thing. Yeah. Um, I'll just say it'll probably be like my other shoes that I have. So those New Balance, not the Asics, the ones next year. These are great pair. Yeah. Those are called the. Um, the V2s. I these, dog. these look like timer shoes, dog. I love those shoes to death, bro. Very, very popular kick. Oh, these very, are they, these are very, thingies. Very, very, very popular thingies. shoe. Very, very popular shoe. How's that a popular shoe, dog? You know how big the shoes in Europe, dog? No. No, seriously, it's huge. The new Why? Bad, high 90. It's a, it's a very, I don't know. For me personally, it goes with a lot of my outfits and it's very comfortable as well. I like comfortability. What, okay, what, what would you wear this with? A lot of things. Jeans, cargoes, track pants, sweats, and it all goes, bro. Trust me, don't. Trust me. Trust me. I maybe maybe you know, I just you know, our fashion things just two Trust different me. things. Our fashion things two different things. Yeah, yeah. Easy. And then I think I think at the moment, yeah. Let me just go get the shoe quickly. Okay. Yeah. So at the moment, and then this is the other shoe. Now you can also say this is a tacky now. That is a thing. Yeah. So this is the, <laughs> that is a thing. So this is the bad bunny collab. So this shoe came in this box. Yes. This box. So this is the, the this is see, but this is nice though. It's, it was also a decky. But look, the detail is different. Yeah, it's a collab though. That's just a normal one. It is a hot, exactly, that's a normal thing. So the whole thing about this shoe is that we wanted to get the a mounted effect on it. So okay. that's why they have like these small little circle ripple things over yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. mounted effect. So yeah, that's what he wanted with that shoe, which I thought was really cool. Very, very I see the eye at the back as well. Yeah, it's the bad bunny eye. So yeah, the bunny eye. That's crazy. We want to get, we want to get close-ups of all of these kicks that Josh is talking about. Yeah. So you guys can get a feel of what I'm holding and what I'm seeing so, as well. So I think, yeah, so that's my, this is my top five in, in my collection yeah, at the moment, man. Me put this here. Yeah. So this is my top five at the moment. So it varies. I mean, like, if you see me next week, I might be a different top five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, honestly. So just how you feel in the Yeah, world. it's always how I feel. Yeah, it's like, so I wore those shoes, like, I was always wearing them. So that's, yeah, has to be yeah. top five. I really like them. So I'm assuming they're comfortable. Yeah. Because I know, I know you love comfort Yo, more than anything. Anything, dog, anything. I don't yeah. like, like, that's the reason why I don't like wear my Jordan ones a lot. I don't groove in them. Yeah. Because yeah, they're not that comfortable, I won't lie. Like for like a couple like a couple hours, yeah, cool. Yeah. But after that it actually starts to hurt a bit. I think like yeah. most shoes I the most shoes are probably grooving in probably like my Yeezys or maybe like Air Maxes mm. sometimes. But other than that. I don't, know, yeah. that, mm. I don't like wearing like my popping popping shoes to groove because 
I always just get too dirty. Yeah. And, then I have to and now you're damaging them. the shoe as well. Yeah, dude, and then you I have know? to clean them. I realize it. You got your top five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your most expensive, you mentioned something to me. My most expensive, um, so if you want to know most expensive on the resale market or just most, most expensive, I paid like retail. Most expensive that you got? Yeah, yeah. From and then most expensive that you bought? The most expensive one that we've bought, that I bought, is probably my Yeezys. Mm. So, um, these were these were like five thousand rand. And okay. These were four, and then these were five as well. And these were you got these when Yeezys were still reasonably priced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these were four, four, I think. Yeah. When they were still reasonably priced. Yeah, Yeezys. These ones like four thousand is reasonably priced, yeah, guys. For Yeezys, dog. No, because they got to be like they're five k, six k now, dude. Yeah, no, they're mad expensive. Oh, yeah. they're mad expensive. It's mad. And then my most expensive shoe that people always offer me cash for is. These babies. The SVs. The, I mean the dunks, the dunks, yeah, the, the dunks. Ones. So Apologies guys. The, the cool thing about these ones right now mm -hmm. is that I probably have, well the guys who got these ones two years ago. Yeah. Probably have the lotions with like really good quality leather mm -hmm. from the dunks right now. It's like very plastic leather. Yeah. These ones are like, so this, this is part of like a pack. So Nike like wanted to do like a university pack. So you yeah. get like the one in blue and white is the University of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Then you get the red and no, the red. You get the orange and white one, which is the Syracuse. Yeah. University of Syracuse. This is just the Brazilian, the Brazilian, Brazilian colorways. Yeah. And then I just decked it out with some leather with some laces. Leather laces and gold tips. Yeah. So this is from Hefted Laces, a South African brand. It's crazy. They give the beautiful. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah. So yeah, so I thought they just gave it like a luxe. Yeah. Feel. No, they definitely yeah. do. I mean, also cleaning these, bro. That's yeah. that's simple. So, yeah, it's wiped them shifts, bro. So yeah, man. Dog. So yeah, so there's some, some kid offered me an 8k when I walked out the store for those, dude, which was insane. I sent them on the spot because I really liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna resell it, dog, so yeah. Guys, people actually spend on kicks. I won't lie to you guys. Yeah, people actually spend on kicks and I'll never offer another bro 8k for his bottle. I'll never. Right. It's I'll it's never. Insane, dog, there's resellers that are selling. I saw Jordans. Yeah. Like the, the, the like this blue sweater, or baby sky blue. I don't know the yeah. name, man, dog. I think I'm going for like 15,000. Yeah, dude, it's actually I said never. Bro. Some never. Are going for some joints, people selling joints for 180,000 rand, bro. 180,000? Yeah, dude. This is a collab with um, Michael Jordan did with his son. Yeah. The trophy room collab. So basically, I'm not too sure on the details, but I do think that in the shoe itself, like on the outside, mm. you get like low moments from like Jordan's career. Oh, crazy. And, like written there. I'm not too sure though. Yeah. But the problem is like, I think only 2,000 pairs were released worldwide. So like they were very sought after. Yeah, a lot yeah, of them yeah. like backdoored. So, Basically, a lot of resellers got them before they dropped. Yeah. So now they like cause high, cause, cause high, cause rarity for the shoe, mm. and then they're like aware we're gonna sell it the same. But I think look at yeah, man, if someone's not gonna buy a shoe for hundred eighty thousand, mm. obviously they're gonna put it down. Yeah. But why would I put it down if someone's gonna buy it for hundred eighty thousand? Exactly. I'll be silly to do that. But do you think that resellers are still gonna make their money? Like let's just say in the next like year or two. They're not making their money now. Well, I just believe that I'm not. Yeah. Because I'm not like, look. So what happens now is a lot of resellers and us, they are standing in queue to make 500 rand profits. Mm -hmm. Buying the shoe for, let's say, this, these new balances. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when I went, luckily, there was a huge queue when I got there, mm -hmm. and I came there. Like, the store just opened and just walked in, and yeah. the size of my size was there. Crazy. Like, they were pissed. So it was meant. It was meant to happen. Yeah, I was running so late. My boy, yeah. my boy TK was there for like. From six in the morning, the store opened at nine. And I just got, I got that five to nine. Yeah. And I just walked and got my size, which is actually insane. But what I'm trying to say is, like, so we paid about two k for these, mm -hmm. and a lot of the guys, the resellers, only mm -hmm. sold this thing for like maybe like a thousand rand markup, five hundred markup, yeah. you know. Yeah. So like, I feel like the profits, the profit margins are kind of getting less and less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like during COVID, you could get a Jordan, you can buy a Jordan for thousand eight hundred, two thousand rand sure. for retail, and sell it for six k. Because that's Crazy. how crazy the hype was. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you were making 4K profits. Like yeah. Resellers are eating them. Yeah. No, I think, you know, it's the hype has gone down a bit. Yeah, you gotta, you got to kind of find other ways to make money. You know? Yeah. Obviously, there's still going to be shoes that you can always sell. Mm. But, like, the, you, you want to make, you want to get those shoes where you can make like 5K yeah, yeah, profit yeah, yeah. on the shoe. You know what I'm yeah. trying to say? So, yeah, man. Nah, I hear you, dog. So, I mean, taking it back. Yeah. Taking it back, right? Your love for sneakers. Yeah. For all of this, dog. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is beautiful, Yeah, dog. yeah. Where did that start, bro? Yeah, man. So, bro, I, I, I always, when I talk about this, I always like say like it comes down to like how I grew up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because like, you've always been a trendy nigga. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Just always been a trendy nigga <laughs> his whole life. Yeah, came out the womb. He's been <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, 
Is this where I grew up? My cousins, mm. the area, just like I remember, like most of the shoes that I grew up seeing people wearing was Air Force Ones, Converses, Superstars. Yes. And then occasionally some, the some Bulls were wearing Timberlands. Yeah. I don't know how yeah. Bulls were wearing Timberlands in Durban, but you know. But it's like, like, it's not about swag, bro. Yeah. And the shoes are heavy. Also, just just the feet are out here sweating, dog. So, yeah, so all those influences, like, played a huge part mm. in, like, you know, picking up certain things and just picking up, like, your. Like colored people from where I grew up, in the colored area where I grew up, they all had a certain dress code. Yeah. So you just like, you take ideas from that dress code and then you just kind of find your own Make your own style. Because I mean like, I mean like, I I think it also comes down to me also like meeting a lot of people. Yeah. And like being in different crowds and stuff like that. So you just mm -hmm. pick up different influences and shit like that and then you try and make your own style from that. And then, yeah. And then when, when, that, when that happened, I kind of found myself, you know, mm. with my fashion and then like, so I was always fashion first, and then like I had shoes. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I had some shoes, but I didn't really know the the brand the history and shit yeah, behind yeah. it. I just knew like okay, cool. So it was why that superstar like those shoes, sure. you know. And then when I got to Monash twenty thirteen, I bumped into my cousin at mm -hmm. Monash, and my cousin's always been like very very trendy. Like, yeah, he's been the trendy. He, he was like one of my biggest. He's all life. Yeah, he's okay. probably one of my biggest influences. And then. He was wearing these shoes, these Puma shoes, mm -hmm. and at the time in 2013, the Trinomic was a big thing. So they had, he had these collaboration shoes called the Brooklyn We Got On Times okay. Puma Trinomic, and I'm like to this guy, I'm like, oh, these shoes are fire. Yeah, yeah, these yeah, shoes yeah. Are fire. And I'm like, yo, so how much are they? And he's like, hey, bro, you don't want to know. So he was telling me it was 3,000 Rand, and then, like, then like, oh, he was at Riz, so we went mm -hmm. back to his place, and he showed me the shoe. And I got the detail and all this shit, and I was just like, what the fuck? This is like the blue I'm at, you know? Yeah. And then I was like, okay, cool. So then I started researching sneakers. Tumblr, Tumblr, I was on Tumblr like glitchy yeah. all the time, researching, researching, researching. And then when the ZX Fluxes dropped in 2013, yeah. that, 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 that was huge, bro. Was Everybody had that shoe, dog. Bro. So I remember the day it dropped, I asked my mom, I bought that shoe for 800 bucks. Mm. So I asked my mom that day, I was like, mom, please get the shoe. Mm. Mom was like, I bet. So she gave me cash, and then when I, went, I, when I finished my first class, mm. I think my first class was 8 to 10, mm. got in my car, went to the mall. Bought them same day? Did I not put the shoe on same time? Went back to campus, walking in my shoe. Brand new! Everybody no, just like, bought the box! Everyone is like, yo, dude, what shoe is this? This, hey, this shoe is fresh as fuck. I'm walking on campus. So you knew what you were doing, man? Yeah. So I was like, nah, <laughs> people need to see this shit. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? So I was like, I bet. So then that literally kicked off everything. Yeah. So then from there, bought, I bought my first pair of Stan Smiths. Mm. You know, after that, I was, you know, I researched it and I got like the first original Stan Smith. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. basically the ones I dropped in 2013 were just different to the ones I dropped like two years later. How? So the back of the Stan Smith, where it says Stan Smith on the shoe, mm. the one in 2013 is light green suede. And the tongue okay. itself is pure leather and it's like very, very thin. Yeah. So the ones after that, they just they got rid of the suede and they made the tongue a bit fatter. So I'm very proud of that shoe. I'm, so I'm sure that was basically like a production cost, basically. Just like yeah, but it was moving, but, but you know, sometimes even the box was different. So sometimes yeah. when they when they re-release re something, mm. they'll be like, okay, cool. This is how we're going to release it. And then if the shoe starts picking up traction, they'll mm. be like, okay, cool. We need to mass produce it now. And then maybe they'll do some, some changes. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, people yeah. don't really, people, I don't think people really notice. Yeah, it would only take like, yeah, the person that actually knows yeah, the one specific stance like, exactly. Stance exactly. Stance and exactly. then yeah, so the stance would happen. Um, then I started working. I was coaching cricket at Marigold. Yes, 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 and yes, I yes, bought yes. my first pair of OG superstars. Mm. So I, mean, I bought like specific ones. So the the ones that came out in the eighties. Yeah. So basically, they really re-released them. So mm. they had like the whole eighties eighties vibe to it. So it's, the leather is immaculate. Yeah. The cream. It's not white. It's cream. Mm. So it looks like a vintage. Kind of shoes, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's very very nice and then yeah so those are all those are the shoes that like literally kickstarted it for me yeah and then man then it just it just everything just blew up yeah it just and took off like that i know adidas at the time was one of your favorite brands yeah, yeah, right yeah. and they were actually the first people to sponsor you yeah yeah, yeah. with shoes yeah you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah. and you know how did, how did that make you feel bro? bro it was crazy it was so crazy because um at the time before I had my dad was still alive at the time, yeah. so I was working at Adidas, and I think like obviously when I graduated, I stopped working there. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. we got another job, and then like I got retrenched, and then like I started doing the sneaker thing. Yeah. And then I just get this email, bro. Yeah. And let me tell you something. I was, I was, I've been hitting up brands, dude. Yeah. You know, because 
like I was starting to run out of shoes because I bought like a lot of shoes mm. that I hadn't like done anything, I hadn't worn because we just got into COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like we were locked down, so I, I was so I was running out of shoes, and then I just get this random email. Hi, and this is Xavier from Adidas. Yeah. Can I get your shoe size or clothing sizes? That's crazy. And I was like, what the fuck? So you like you might go right bro, now. Bro, I literally ran to my dad. Yeah. I literally ran to I was like, Dad, please look at this email. That's crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And then and then yeah, man, and then the rest was literally just history. Because I remember when I started my thing, shout out my boy Bogues who did my introduction. Mm. I put it on Twitter. Yeah. And that shit blew up. Yeah. And then that's when I that's when I, the people started taking notes of what I was yeah. doing. And I think that's what also happened with Adidas. And then yeah, so I go to my dad, show him the email, and then what, 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 and then the same, he passed away before I could yeah. get the, the box. So when I got back, obviously, so when we got back, and, then, and I'm also writing, knowing that he also helped you set up the studio. Yeah, yeah, this yes. is all, yeah, this is all my father. Yeah. So yeah, we did it together. And then so when I got back from Durban after the funeral, I think about two weeks afterwards, mm. I get the email again. Yo, you can't fit your package from Adidas. Oh, crazy! My my dude, when I got there. Mm. It was. I think I, I think they gave me like six pairs of shoes. So I get. The, I'm getting. You thinking you're on the face? Bro, I, I'm there walking. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna go get packets and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm just thinking maybe they'll give me two. Yeah. Boy, they said, hey, you sneaker box. I'm like, yeah. They bring out this huge box. This huge box. <laughs> they pushing it. So now I'm like. Yeah, where the fuck was I getting a trolley now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this far. I'm sure the people in the store were like, oh, at the, at the, boy, at the office were just like, what's going on? Yeah. Wait, let me tell you something. So I pick up this box. Yeah. Walking around Santa and more like this. Walking around <laughs> this big ass box. Yeah. And I get home and then they it gave me the whole like for our collaboration. Crazy. Yeah, the whole black dot for that, for our collaboration, which was insane. Yeah, and then. That's when it kicked off. So Reebok hit me up, the Puma hit me up, yeah, the Jesus yeah, was saying yeah, yeah. shit. I was doing shit for. Trail running brands, yeah. you know. So yeah, man, it was all just like kicking off like that. So were they were they also paying you from Get or was it just like okay, no, here's like free stuff, and you know what I'm saying, just like so basically, how, so basically how it works with mm. with these brands like Adidas and stuff like that. I think like they're gonna send you shoes like this mm. to wear whatever. You can you can post what you want. You can post, but they don't give you like a breakdown on what you yeah, should post. Yeah, yeah. I feel like once they start giving breakdowns on what you should post, that's mm. when they should pay you. Yes. But if you just want to do it yourself, and I mean like, I'm happy because. The more content I get yeah. to review a sneaker, then it's better for me because sure. I can make money off my YouTube. Sure, definitely. But the only time that it changes is, like I said, if I get a breakdown in my YouTube video and they be like, you need to say A, B, C, D, yes. this is that. Okay. And then I'm like, okay, cool, then. You yeah. guys need to pay for this much, this much, this much, and so forth. Ah, so that's how that's how I operate. Right? Okay, there's some food for thought for you yeah. guys that actually want to get into it, you know. Yeah, man. Josh just fed us something right now. <laughs> you fed us. So, Doug. I know drip wise, kick wise, you're dope. Persona yeah. wise, you're great, bro. Thanks, you know bro. what I'm saying? Thanks, thanks. So, if you had the opportunity to work with any stylist or any brand to make your own shoe, yeah, or even clothes, like, yeah. who comes to mind first? Adidas and Kanye, bro. Adidas and Kanye. Yeah, that's that's it, bro. Like, if if people know me, you know me. I'm the huge, I'm, the, I'm such a huge Kanye fan. Yeah, yeah that man does. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a stand. So when I'm a stand, I'm not even. There's no logic being a stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. stand. If you're he does his right. Yeah, yeah. Then it's done his right. Man, I think. But look at other than that, like maybe Jerry Lorenzo, mm -hmm. a stylist that I really want to work with in in South Africa is Pookie Maboya. Okay. Fucking fucking really like what she's doing. Grab a poppy. Yes. Yeah, Abe. You know a lot of these guys that I've met through mm. this networking and through other events and other mm. events. You know, like a lot of those guys. You know. So yeah, so I think the three guys, the three people I really want to work with, I guess, yeah. is Boogie, Grand Poppy, yeah, Abe. Yeah. And then photographer-wise, you know, mm. everyday people's story is really dope all the time. Clean, clean. Shout clean, out clean. to the boy, shout out to the boy, Cedric, what's yeah. time? Clean, clean, clean all yeah. the time, man. Nao, baby. Yeah. She's also fire. Like, she, he be killing it like that. And then, um, who's the other photographer that I really, really, I like Wanda. Okay. Wanda. Yeah. Wanda's really cool. So yeah, man, there's a lot of creators that I want to work with. Yeah. But you just got to... You know, meet yeah, them in time. time. Yeah. yeah, meet them in due time. And yeah. just network. And that's, I think that's what a lot of people don't understand about the game. Mm. You know, like, you have to network. Definitely. You have to network. And the thing is, people want to see face. 
Like you can always hit people up in the DMs, but yes. it's, it's easy to they, they, they get a feel of you and they see you being person. hot. People get more feel of your yeah. energy, yeah, what yeah, you're about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that also, guys, for people that want to get out, you know, and actually do this, you actually do need a network. Anything to do with entertainment, mm. style, so you know, that. fashion, all of that, you yeah. need to be out. So you can't just sit at home and be like, hey, yeah. you come to me. You know what I'm saying? You need to actually invest in yeah. pouring gas. You know, getting to the event, you know, buying some food or buying something, you know, and network and get yeah. into those spaces that will actually help you grow you. Yeah, as a because it ends, up, it ends up happening organically. Because yeah, that, definitely. Because bro, you don't want to, you don't want to meet someone and be like, yo, huge fan. What do I want? We must work together. Nah, dude, you want a drink? Yeah. And they buy some shots, and then like exactly. it organically happens, and you exactly. just chat. Yeah. And then they find, oh, you do this, hey, you see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how it operates, you know. Exactly. Just, so I think a lot of people. A lot of people, they don't know that. Yeah, I had to get that. that. I, yeah. Because I was like, I was like, yo, all I do is literally go take photos in Cruise Loop and then yeah. come back to my house. Yeah. And I don't really go anywhere else. Mm. And then, so I had to learn that actually yeah, people want to people actually see me. They want to see me how I dress if I yes. dress at this house in public. In person, yes, 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 yes. Did that and then like, I started meeting a lot more people yeah. and then, yeah, connections grew and then that was that. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. yeah. That's yeah. crazy. So, with Sneaker Ball. Yeah. As 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 it's as a brand. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's a brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a brand. Where do you wanna take it, bro? Yeah. So, sneaker vaults. I think, I think my brand specifically. I, I think sneaker vaults is no longer um, a specific brand of yes. mine. So basically, my name is my brand now. Yes. And sneaker vaults has become a segment of my YouTube channel. Okay. So I think, fashion wise, mm. fashion wise, I just wanna continue growing. Yes. Let literally continue growing and just you know eventually work with brands and. You know, have my own collaboration, have this, have that, you know, yeah, basically yeah, yeah, yeah. time. But I just want to grow it. Mm. And I just want to, you know, be a premium sneaker reviewer. Yeah. Say, dude. Like, I think, like, the, it's pretty it's pretty simple. I don't think I can do anything else as big besides just grow my YouTube with yeah, it. Yeah. And then, like, you know, just inform people about sneaker culture and mm. just throw, like, like, obviously getting involved in events is also, also cool. Like, Shit. you know, throwing sneaker yeah, events yeah. and stuff like that. But you know, yeah. it's, it's, but you also want to do it differently, you know. You also want to... You know, come up with an idea and stuff yeah, like that yeah, yeah. that's very different to what everyone else is doing. Yeah, so sure. that also takes time. But like, you know, just growing my channel, growing the fashion segment, growing the gaming segment, growing yeah, this yeah, segment, yeah. you know, just continue doing that. Yeah. You know. I mean, yeah. yeah. That's literally that's literally what I wanna yeah. And it'll get there, bro. Yeah, no, no, it'll, it'll definitely that, get that, there. It'll that, definitely that, get that, there. That. But you mentioned something that I was literally about to ask you now. Yeah, yeah. The gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog, fashion, sneakers, gaming. Yeah. It all goes, gaming, like, it all works, it all works hand to hand. When did you get into gaming? So I've always been a gamer. Yeah. A lot of people just didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I've yeah. always enjoyed gaming. But, mm. um, so what happened was, the reason why I game in the studio now as well. Yes. Was because people were always used to fight over the flipping TV. Yes. So I've been playing PlayStation and I was still coming back, no, I wanted TV. Yeah. So now I'm like. Now you're hurting me. Now, now. yeah, you know yeah, I'm playing, I'm inside 2K and then like, I gotta. I gotta disconnect now. Yeah, I'm getting pissed off because now you're shouting at me, you're fighting with me, and I'm trying to finish this game. So I was like, sure. you know what? I'll move it into the studio. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. then I bought a, a monitor mm. and started gaming. And then I was just like, when I was watching a lot of this guy who also influenced me, is Hollow, named Hollow, Hollow yeah. Points on YouTube. Um, he's a gamer, so he yeah. plays Let's Play and all that shit. And I was just like, you know what? I think I can do this shit, man. Sure. So I did it. So people don't understand, but I didn't realize how hectic, how hectic it is sure. to actually like. Form yourself, play games, and record everything. Yeah, you know. So I had to get like I had to get a, a connector for my laptop. I had mm -hmm. to get a, a HDMI converter. I had to get another application to record the game and That's crazy. Bro. Okay, so I was like, okay, cool. Let me learn how to edit now. Yeah. Now that now to be honest, that's, that that's, that's a totally different part. thing compared that to is editing. The hardest parts out of yeah. editing game. Look, editing my sneaker shit is easy. Sure. Because it's literally you sit there and then bam bam. Yeah. You're not trying to you're not trying to time reactions, you're not trying to do this. Ooh. So basically because I have to because my camera, it's not a video camera, so yeah. it's, it's after thirty minutes it cuts off. And I have to piss record again. Oh wow! So I'm literally I'm playing, and then sometimes I'll be and inside. A, be... I'll be inside in a hectic mode. Yeah. And I forget to piss record again. So sometimes, so so you don't get the second part of it. No, I I miss like a minute because oh. after I see things up, I'm like whoa, and I look at my camera, and then and it, it's says, it says it stopped because it, it's moving things up. So I have to piss record. Crazy. Again. So it's all about balancing that shit. And then when mm. that happens, so basically, I'll film myself playing right, and mm. I'll record the whole gameplay. So the whole gameplay will be. Let's say an hour, 45 minutes. Mm. But I need to break it down into 40 minutes. 
Oh wow. Jeez, okay. I have to break it down to 40 minutes. So yeah. I have to, so it's a lot of like, you know, like if you're playing like adventure games or whatever, yeah. it's a lot of like, you know, running around and going to the next place. Yeah, and shit, yeah, so yeah. that takes up a lot of time. Mm. So I just cut out those segments, you know, because okay. nobody wants to see you just fucking running all the time. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah. want to see you AD. Fighting, mm, yeah. killing so, this thing yeah. and what, what Reactions, yeah. this, this, like, yeah, So yeah. then I gotta, so now I said, then I have to like figure out, say if there's a, like, if it's an explosion in the game, mm. and then I have a reaction. I have to figure out, because sometimes, my reaction might be delayed because I had to cut things out. Oh wow. So yeah, so I have to literally then say bam bam and then my reaction's in time. And I have to make sure there's actually the, I'm actually reacting to that scene. Because it could be another reaction. That sounds like so much work. Yeah, I like so, you. So yeah, so it takes me about like two and a half hours to edit, one video. Yeah. It's the longest time. Yeah bro, and I when I'm gaming, when I'm inside a game, I, yeah. I release like three videos or two videos a day. Yeah. Jeez, bro, so that's like six hours of editing. Yeah, bro, like six hours of editing. Yeah, I'm always even like, a lot of people don't understand that. When they see me, when I'm here, I'm literally just working. Like, yeah. it's not like, I have like a, a proper eight to five. Yeah. That's my job, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, if I'm gonna go, if I'm gonna go to gym, I'm gonna go exercise, I come home after that, and I'll work. Until like five, whatever. So what time, what's like 5 a.m.? No, eight, eight to five p.m. Yeah, it's yeah, It's like yeah. a proper... Yeah, so you got your nine to five. And yeah, then... that's my program, yeah. nine to five. So yeah, so I make sure that I lock in. I lock in because I, because I'm growing. I'm trying to make money and grow yeah, business. Yeah, you know, like, you, and this weird thing about South Africans is like they don't like. They think they're too cool to overload people with content. Yes. The thing is, the thing with social media nowadays, mm. they eat that they, they eat content. Sure. So you literally always have to post. Like, even, put something up, yeah. even on Instagram, like a lot of people have like found out that now, the engagement is dropping mm. and shit like that because Instagram wants you to literally post a reel and post photos. Yes. The whole day. Yes. Like this is what you must just continue yeah. posting and yeah. just getting engaged and your engaged and engaged. People don't, people don't want to do that because they DM is too cool or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah, would yeah. I do that? Much up. Yeah. Nah, bro. Do that shit and trust me. That's yeah. the only way you're gonna get, you're gonna be successful, bro. In in this, I feel like in this. I just, I just, bro. You know what? And you're right. The people don't understand how much goes into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I for one, one hundred percent. Dog, I won't lie to you. I suck at taking photos, dog. Yeah. Making time for a photo yeah. and this and this and this because I get caught up in yeah. wanting to focus and do everything like one you. on one on one, and I end up feeling like so overwhelmed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even my girlfriend's just like, bro, like you need to pose. Yeah. You need to do this. You no, need to do this. And like bro, like I'm just I'm just glad that right now. Yeah. I'm learning from you. Yeah, yeah, speaking, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't know that's how Instagram is working now. Yeah. Like, all of that. So yeah. you telling me, okay, I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this means to me that you're taking what you're doing very seriously. Yeah. You're doing the research behind it. Bro, and that's the you crazy know? thing, because like you'll just be on YouTube and I'll be like, okay, the Instagram algorithms changed the game. Yeah. That's what you're gonna do, A B C D and you're like, okay, cool. Like you're gonna make a reel, mm. five second reel. If you're gonna make like that's why you'll see if you make like a 30 second reel it doesn't get views because oh, people's wow. attention span so you people just don't know five seconds see what you're doing mm. or if you if the only read it, the other other way is that you'll get the attention if you write something at the top so yeah, they yeah. can read it so they'll spend more time on the video reading it and then that's how so instagram will be like okay cool this spend this guy spent five more, more than five seconds on the video yeah let's boost it because they want to see the content yes so that's when you that's when your video starts to get more engagements that's crazy yeah, bro. Okay. so it's, it's like it's fucking insane I'm learning from you right yeah, now. I'm learning. I'm genuinely <laughs> learning from you, yeah. dog. I'm learning. So, got one last question for you, dog. No stress, right? Actually, no, two more, two more, two I more questions that. for you because we're running out of time right now. How much is all of this? I don't know. I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. But I, if I had to estimate, it's like my collection's like over 300,000 right 300,000, 400,000 collection. I know that all of these boxes, yeah. You still have more shoes in the yes, other sir. room. Yeah, you still yeah. Have, yeah. yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. That's actually so good. <laughs> 300,000. Yeah. Luckily, you guys don't know where this house is. Yeah, really. So, yeah, my boy's safe. The app part, yeah, <laughs> close this room, really. Yeah. Let's close the curtains now. Yeah, dude. no, that would suck if you're hosting and somebody's stealing your shoes. Yeah, man. But it's a good thing if you're not my size, really. You know, people are small. Yeah, feet, right? you know. It's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's good being that's good being a size 10. Sometimes, this guy, dog. Dog. Give me, <laughs> leave us every size 7 alone, dog. Leave us alone. But, Joe. For the kid watching right now, yeah. you know, appreciating what you're doing, you know, finding this mind blowing, the same way I feel like yeah. a kid right now, yeah. looking at all of this, dog, you know? Yeah, yeah. What advice can you give them, bro? Because obviously it's not that easy, you know? Yeah. There's obviously a whole lot of time that goes into it, rejection as well, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Needing to know where to go. Yeah. Like, what would you say to encourage that kid? Yeah, man, so how I started before I got, like, any of this, you know, tripod and my phone. 
Yeah. And I was recording it. I was recording in my room. Mm. But you know, if you're passionate about something, people feed off their passion. Yes. So you need to be passionate about it. You mustn't do something that, oh, I'm just going to do it because it's in. Yes. Because yes, then people yes, see yes. that you're doing it because you're in. Yes. Because it's an in thing. Yeah. You want to you wanna be able to show people that, you know, I'm very passionate about this mm. and you must take it seriously. So I would say, I would say that for one, you must be very passionate about what you do. And the second thing is that it takes a lot of money. Yeah. It takes a lot of money. You need to save. Yourself, yeah. You need to save. And you're not going out sometimes because so you, you need to buy something that's for your studio. Mm. It's, it's what a discipline. It takes mm. a lot of time, money, and discipline. And just, um, what else can I say? It's just, you just, that, right? Money, discipline, and passion about yeah. it. You know? Like, literally, that's all. That's because I, I think a lot of people don't, a lot of people have this this thing about content creation where it's like, oh, it shouldn't, it shouldn't take this much money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, like, bro, like, you need you need a proper camera. And, you need, and you people don't understand. Yeah. Sorry, sorry to cut you off. Stress, stress. With everything that you're trying to do, whether if it's music or you're yeah. a stance fan, you know what I'm saying? You want to fix up your car or shoes or clothes. Whatever acting, everything needs you to invest in yourself. One hundred percent. So, so yeah, man, getting a camera, getting a a laptop, mm. you know, that's all. It doesn't happen in four months. Mm. That shit, like the the setup took me two and two two years, two and a half years. Yeah, and I'm still growing the setup. You know what yeah. I'm trying to say? So, it's it's all up. It's all you need is patience and discipline and money. And all those things. Yeah, you need to be so passionate about it that you know when you don't have certain things, you need to make a plan. Yes. You know, if you if you need to shoot on like my song, my first soul talk episode shot mm-hmm. on my iPhone. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It didn't have the editing app, edited the shit on InShot. Yeah. You know? Then I had to delete everything with my phone because I had no yeah. space. So it's all of those that you make a plan. You made it happen. You and you gotta happen. be and the thing is a lot of content creators understand. Like you should never be embarrassed about your setup and it and if you get the job done. Yeah. Like because everyone knows like you have to start some some content creation. Bro. You can't just Snap and then miraculously you have yes every you have this and you have yeah. the, you know so it's a lot of like okay fuck I need to try and make make a plan to get this shit you know mm. and that's what people don't understand and that they have to treat it like a job yeah that's the you have to treat it and you have to be serious yeah. about it you can't just be like your ah I'm gonna drop one video yeah I'm drop one video and then in four months I'll drop another one nah dude you need feel to like feed I'm people to myself content. you need to feed people content <laughs> because because you bro, it is, the thing is your subscribers want to see the shit, dog. They do. They really want to see. They want to see everything about you. Yeah, bro. Yeah. They literally want to see everything. So it's oh like, and it's also it also gets very, it gets very tiring. Yes. Mentally, I think it's something you have to prepare for as well. Yes. You know, you also have to. I'm a big, I'm a big advocate for mental health. Mm. So you need to. You also need to. You know, if you need to take a break, you need to take a break. Definitely, but bro. Make sure if you do take the break that you have content. Yeah. That's why I think it's always important to shoot and yeah. edit all the time. To you shoot in advance, basically, yeah. Shoot and edit all the time. Sure. And then when and then when you have your slump or your mental health break, you still have content to drop. You've you've you've, you've edited all your, all yeah. you need to do is put it on YouTube. Yeah. And then that's fine. So yeah, yeah man, that's my advice, right? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, mothers and fathers at home watching this right now. You guys are from Josh himself, dog. Thank you so much Thanks for, for coming, coming through. Thank, thank you for having me, man. Thank, thank you, thank you. Appreciate this is amazing. Yeah, man. I feel like a kid right now. Yeah, I feel like I'm in the store. <laughs> so yeah, this has been Bodega Corner with Joshua Dunn himself, Mr. Sneaker Vault, Mr. Cotini Corner, Mr. Soul Talk himself, having a conversation, showing us a bit of what he has right here in the studio. And yeah, guys, it's been lit. It's been live. We've definitely not been live. But yeah, this is your one-stop convenient show for your informative goods. This is Bodega Corner and I'm Paxi Germany signing out.